Welcome to my channel. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle reportedly revived Netflix deal. Royals fear another tell-all. The British royal family is reportedly on high alert as Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have rekindled discussions with Netflix for a potential new documentary that could further expose the inner workings and scandals of the monarchy. This development comes after their original $100 million deal with the streaming giant in 2020 led to a docuseries that painted the royal family in a controversial light. In 2020, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex secured a lucrative deal with Netflix, which included the now infamous docuseries that accused the royal family of racism and revealed personal grievances, such as Prince William allegedly getting physically violent with Harry and Meghan's claim that Princess Kate made her cry over a flower girl dress. The series also detailed the couple's struggles and eventual departure from royal duties to start a new life in California. Despite the fallout from their previous documentary, insiders indicate that Netflix is eager to resurrect the partnership with Harry and Meghan. The couple, once thought to have been dropped by the streaming service, are now reportedly exploring new project ideas that could potentially include another tell-all documentary. Seeing that the Sussexes are in good with Netflix again definitely raises fears of what they're going to do next, confided a royal insider, per the National Enquirer. It's all well and good if Netflix has put money into their brand and cooking and lifestyle types of shows but the royals can't help but worry there's more to the plans that will land them in the hot seat. The insider added, No doubt the TV bosses would do just about anything to get a second docuseries out of Meghan and Harry, centered on their relationship with the royals, because that's what generated so much publicity and so many streams. Netflix executives, enticed by the prospect of exclusive insights into the royal family's dynamics, are reportedly enthusiastic about the potential for another documentary. That's ultimately the reason the bosses coughed up $100 million to sign them in the first place, the source explained. So it's hard to imagine execs won't keep pushing for more to get their money's worth. It's just a question of whether or not Meghan and Harry bite. The initial documentary had a significant impact on the reputation of the royal family. Beyond personal anecdotes, the series leveled serious accusations such as claims of systemic racism within the monarchy and detailed instances of familial strife. These revelations created a media frenzy and significantly strained the royal family's public image. Adding to the royal family's concerns is the potential for Prince Andrew to release his own tell-all book. Disgraced by his association with the late Jeffrey Epstein, Andrew is reportedly bitter about losing his military titles and patronages in 2022, and is said to be considering a memoir as he faces pressure from King Charles to downsize his living arrangements. The royal insider remarked, It's already such a difficult time for the royals with King Charles and Princess Kate struggling with their health issues and it's been much more difficult than they expected to adjust to life with the slimmed down monarchy. The last thing they need is to have more fires to put out. Despite the tumult, the royal family remains hopeful that Harry and Meghan will refrain from further exposés. However, the financial incentives and Netflix's interest in more content about the royals suggest otherwise. Considering how much money is on the table, it's very hard for anyone to believe that Netflix bosses aren't going to be putting huge pressure on them to deliver something more, noted the insider. At present, the royal family is anxiously waiting to see what unfolds next. The royals would love to believe Harry and Meghan are done with the tell-alls, but at this point, they are all just waiting for the other shoe to drop. It's stressful to say the least, the source concluded. Thank you for watching. Stay with us for more videos. Meghan has reportedly completed filming a new cooking series for Netflix, part of her and Prince Harry's $100 million five-year deal with the streaming giant. The as-yet-untitled show aims to celebrate the joys of cooking, gardening, entertaining, and friendship, according to sources. With the production wrapped, much is riding on the show's success to potentially secure the couple's future with Netflix. 
The Daily Beast reported that the filming of the show, which took place at multiple locations including a premium wholesale florist and a $5 million property near their Montecito mansion, went smoothly. Industry heavyweights, including Michael Steed, known for his work on Anthony Bourdain's Emmy-winning Parts Unknown, are reportedly involved in the project. Following their departure from Royal Dubies in 2020, the Sussexes have ventured into various commercial projects to sustain their lifestyle. However, there is speculation that Netflix may not renew their contract when it expires in 2025. Sky News host Rita Panahi criticized the premise of the new cooking show, calling it bloody awful. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams has raised concerns about the couple's financial stability if Netflix decides not to renew their contract. If they lost this contract, with Archwell, their business and charitable foundation, having so few donors, they might well be in financial trouble, Fitzwilliams told The Mirror. He noted that while their royal life exposés have been lucrative, other ventures have not seen similar success. In addition to the cooking series, Prince Harry is working on a show about a U.S. polo championship for Netflix. Meghan has also launched a lifestyle brand, American Riviera Orchard, which includes products such as jams and dog biscuits, promoted by her celebrity friends and influencers on social media. Yeah.